be bopping around our home decorating for springtime. I so look forward to this day and all of the crafts we're going to make and just different elements we're going to add to our space to brighten up and fill it with those springtime colors and inspiration. First up, I want to create a installation is a is a big word for it, but create a moment on our kitchen island with some blooms. So I think that'll be fairly easy, so we can start there. And then I want to make a front door wreath. We made a really beautiful one last year that was so whimsical and fairy-like, and I definitely want to emulate that same aura, but we're going to add some different elements, maybe add a bit more color. So we'll play around with that. I love to create the wreaths for pretty much every occasion. It's such a fun way to sort of add a different element and just piece something together that really inspires you. So I'm looking forward to that. And then Easter. Easter is coming up so soon. I'm really looking forward to it. I have some Easter decor we can sprinkle throughout our home and I would love to set the table and try to create butterfly napkin art. We'll try our hand at it. We'll see how it goes. I just think it's such an adorable idea. So. We shall see, and then a few other things on our list, but really looking forward to celebrating springtime together. ideas. I first thought of this when I was hosting a baby shower and I was at the plant nursery uh, just browsing around and I saw these gorgeous pink snapdragons and it was a baby girl baby shower so I was like oh this would be so cute to have for the party and I ended up just keeping the snapdragons in a pot and just sprinkling them throughout the house and I thought it looked so sweet and thought this would be perfect for spring so we had a full potted plant palooza and essentially I just want to arrange these potted plants and make a cute little moment in the center of our island. I don't know if I'm gonna put all of them in the center. We'll see how it looks. I don't want it to look cluttered but we also could sprinkle them throughout the home and I love this because I think potted plants are a lot more easy to take care of than a bouquet of flowers, so it's sort of like a nice alternative, and it's less expensive as well, because all you have to do is water it every so often instead of changing out the water, trimming the stems, so I think it's a fun switch up, and of course, it depends on the lighting in your home and which potted plants you get, so who knows how long they'll actually last. I just plan to monitor these and if any of them are looking miserable in here then I'll bring them out to the garden and maybe switch it up but I hope you love this idea as much as I do. I love how quirky the snapdragon looks in the teacup. I think it's adorable. It's so tall and lengthy and I just love it. I also put these cream zinnias in this thrifted coffee canister and loving the look of that as well. I think I want to do three in total on the island, and I'm stuck between the daisy teacup or the other potted snapdragon. 
thinking maybe that I like more. Ugh, it's a hard call. They both look really sweet. I might switch the zinnias with the snapdragon so we have more color variety here. Perfect. I love that combination. I suppose it would be fitting to put this one at our coffee station. Super, super cute. I also love it in this little nook. Okay, I've set up our DIY wreath making station. We have all of the works, our grapevine wreath, which is such a fabulous base because I barely even have to use any floral wire or floral floral tape because you can sort of just nestle the stems within the grapevine so absolutely love this this is probably our 10th time using it it's so wonderful to reuse every single season and for our base I gathered a bunch of Spanish moss this is something that we have a plethora of in our area so I love to implement it's not necessarily springtime because we have it all year round but I just think it is really beautiful and such a lovely base. So we'll spread that around the whole wreath and then we have a bunch of faux floral, dried floral that we can make some sort of whimsical arrangement with. And I pulled out our little mushrooms. We put these on the wreath last year and it looked very darling, very whimsical. But instead of incorporating the red this year, I pulled out my paints and I think I'm gonna go with more organic mushroom colors. So maybe a yellow, maybe a green, maybe a brown. So let's paint these real quick so they'll have some time to dry and then we can get started. I don't know if I'm loving how this one looks. It might be too much like a sea creature, but we'll leave it for now and maybe when we layer, it'll look more natural, but it's coming together.
There's our cute little mushrooms with their new color palette. I love how they turned out. I think it's really sweet. successful DIY or craft time when you made a complete mess. I'm going to clean this up. I feel like my best plan of action is going to be to vacuum this table because it is just everywhere. I really should take everything off, but I want to set the table anyways. So I'm going to try to just tidy this up. We still have some extra florals that we might use for some vases. And then I pulled out our humble Easter basket so we can go through that and then place any cute little Easter touches around the home. Palmer's Easter basket that I'm very excited to fill. It's so adorable. wooden pressed flower eggs a couple years ago and I still love them. They look super sweet. Easter basket centerpiece last year and I still love it. Thankfully, it stayed intact really well even though I shoved it into storage, but I'm just going to refine it a little bit. I um, sort of tried to make it whimsical last year with these faux florals sort of poking out. So I'm just going to touch it up and then at the farmer's market this weekend, we purchased a beautiful carton of farm eggs and they have such a gorgeous color palette. We have this beautiful pale blue one and a green one. It's kind of like a sage green color. It's really, really beautiful. And then this like pale yellow color. And last year we created these candles, these egg candles. And then I also planted little sprouts in the eggs really adorable DIY. I still think it's a fun idea, but I wanted to switch it up this year. And honestly, when you burn the candles in the eggshell, it doesn't really smell the best. At least mine didn't. So I think this year I'm just going to use these in the centerpiece. So just keep it simple, but have them sort of poking out. And then we have that organic element and additional component to our centerpiece.
library books, nice and accessible by the entryway. Grab them when we go out to the porch. Our next little DIY is to paint this box that we picked up at the craft store. And essentially the vision for this is for it to be a little seed exchange that I'm gonna have for our neighbors. And I've been collecting milkweed, native milkweed, which if you're unfamiliar, that's the host plant for the monarch butterfly. And just to support the population, it's really important to have native milkweed. So every time my milkweed goes to seed i collect it and um, i have quite a bit piled up and then i ordered little sleeve packets and i need to check that it'll even fit in that box i really hope so fingers crossed but i'm gonna put probably like five seeds in each seed packet and then anyone who's interested can take some for them their personal garden okay here are the little seed packets let's see what it is I might just have to fold them to fit in the box. It actually might be perfect because once it's folded with the seal, it'll be about that big. Oh my goodness, perfect. Yay, so um, I plan to attach it to our library. So I'm thinking maybe I'll just put wood glue on the back and attach it, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Now's the fun part, just getting to paint it. Oh, and also, if you watched the shop and source with me, we found this adorable garden photo album at the thrift store, and I added all of my seeds to it yesterday, and I already love it. I think it's a great way to store your seeds. Here's our seed exchange setup. I love how it turned out. It's really sweet, simple, nothing crazy. And then on the inside, it says free seeds for spring. So hopefully everyone will get the message. And I just started bagging some seeds, but I'll continue on with that as time goes on. And I'm still brainstorming how to best attach it outside, but we'll get to that another day. I set out our Easter plates. I first purchased these a few years ago when we hosted some of our family for Easter for the first time. I still love them. I think they're really sweet. When we were doing our shop and source day yesterday, I saw some of them at the thrift store actually. So I thought that was funny. If I needed more, I would have scooped them up, but usually we have about six people. So it works out nicely. And I wanted to show these napkins. We made these, I think in, about a year ago. They're avocado dyed napkins. It's so amazing to be able to dye fabrics with natural elements. So I want to create extra avocado dyed napkins because we only have a couple of them right now and I love how they turned out. So I did purchase the napkins yesterday. We're not going to get to that DIY today, but we'll definitely do it in a vlog soon because it really is so amazing and we eat quite a bit of avocados so we collect the skins and then essentially the the avocado skin creates this gorgeous pink color so it's really amazing but what i do want to try to do today is create butterfly napkin fold so i was trying to find a tutorial of the vision essentially i saw this image on anthropology's website and it is so cute i love this butterfly look but I didn't see a tutorial that sort of emulated that same butterfly shape. 
So we're gonna have to wing it. We're gonna try our best to figure it out. I'm gonna pull out some yarn or string because I see they utilized that. So hopefully we can piece it together because I would love to have a butterfly napkin for all of our guests on Easter. that was similar to what I was looking for. Shout out to Chic Unique Interiors on TikTok. That's where I found it. But this napkin shape, I feel like, we'll just blame it on the napkin shape, okay? <laughs> I feel like it's just not what I was going for. I mean, like that just looks kind of sad. Also, it's so big. It's so, so big. So I'm gonna check my napkin cabinet real quick. I feel like I don't have one that's a better size. So it might just not be in the cards for us. But last year I did a bunny napkin fold. So maybe we should just do that again because I'm pretty sure I did it with these pink napkins. That's a wrap on our spring decorating and crafting day. It was such a delight. I really hope you all enjoyed and you have a beautiful spring season. Bye.